dropping cards. I didn't even get started yet. Uh, welcome to Freebird Spirit YouTube channel. Thank you for swinging by and hanging out for a little bit. Uh, I know it's been a while. I apologize, uh, but I am back and um, I wanted to check into the energies surrounding Trump right now this week. Uh, it is Tuesday as I'm recording this. So just kind of check in what's going on. See if anything spurs out that we need to look into a little further, but I kind of wanted to look into that, but, um, and I'm throwing more cards down. So hold on. Ugh. The card that flew out before I even got started. Nine of Swords, go figure. All right, so let's go ahead and get started and I will shuffle and we will get going. All right, so we are back and, oh, I need to put this on the card view, see? been a while but I am doing the card view this is at request um, because people wanted to see the cards laid down it was easier to follow so here we go there we go so you can see the card view let's get it straighter there you go all right and all right Let's look at the theme. The theme right here in the middle is uh, the Eight of Swords and the Mountain, okay, in the Linderman. And reading those, we're reading those together. It's the center, it's the theme. And when you, when you get the Eight of Swords um, and it's in the upright position, it's talking about that self-imposed restriction, um, something about being, it could be challenging you to be honest with yourself. It could be um, the restrictions that are going to be lifted. Um, there's a way out, There's a but you're blocking your, your, your own worst enemy right now. You think you can't, but it's being honest with yourself. It, it can bring, bring that change in um, and so forth. Okay. Now, and with the mountain, that's a block. So here's two blocks going on here. The mountain is showing a barrier, some kind of challenge. Um, it also could be, it re represents some kind of foreign challenge, okay? And um, a delay, slow going with this foreign challenge. <laughs> okay, so, and these bonds. So I feel like since we're reading about Trump that he's got himself into a little bit of a pickle with some foreign people <laughs> that are, have him, he's got himself in a little pickle. And um, so it, it, he's feeling the threat here as well. I feel like that he's throwing a threat um, and he's creating some imminent enemies. <laughs> so this is the center of the scene. So let's read about what, what that's all about, okay? Starting from here, we have the world and the whip. The world is bringing about, you know, usually talks about fulfillment. Um, and I'm going in a circle here. It usually talks about fulfillment and, um, you know, it, it Attainment, like you you finished a cycle to begin a new one, um, a reward in your efforts and all that. Um, but it also talks about a voyage. Could be talking about you know an overseas voyage with that world. Um, anyways, so with that, but it's it's connected to the whip, right? So the whip is bringing in tension, it's bringing in fight, it's bringing in discord. <laughs> uh, it's, it's bringing in uh, like almost like a, it's, it's got to clean up. It's, 
some cleaning up to do, right? So when thinking about the center theme here and his, his trouble that he's got himself in worldwide or, you know, overseas or whatever, the challenges happening here that's uh, causing um, this threatening situation that he's gotten him, himself into, he's trying to clean it up. <laughs> he's trying to clean this, these world connections. He's trying to clean his mess up because of the threat. Interesting. In the center here, I think we're gonna find out a little bit more about that. In the, I mean, in here, I'm center between these two, okay. <laughs> yeah, so here we have the queen of pentacles. And, you know, she's that, she's, she's that businesswoman. She's like um, very secure financially. She's got it going on. Um, but in this reading, you know, with the tower, it, it's, um, it's, you know, somebody official financially, someone um, who follows the rules, could be a bank, someone in, uh, who has been banking and has a lot of pull. Who could that be? I know you guys are going to tell me. Could be what's her name that's been funding him. But he's got himself into a pickle here, trying to clean it up, maybe going to her for help. But here we go to the challenge. So this row is the challenge. Okay. What is challenging him? We have the Knight of Pentacles and the crossroads combined here. And the Knight of Pentacles is someone who um, is patient and steady, you know, also bring, offering, bringing the offering in with the, the pentacle there, um, never gives up, very conservative, but it's in the challenge because of an area. So I feel like maybe it's talking about not, it's not enough. Like it's not going to be enough to cover his mess, right? Whatever this is coming in is not going to be enough to cover his mess. With that, with the crossroads coming in here, um, it's, 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 it's bringing um, options it could be talking about a. There's too many locations. Like there's a couple locations here, um, and um, it also could be oh, double crossing. The double cross. He's being double crossed. Someone's and he can't clean up this mess. It's getting bigger than him. Interesting. So I know you guys know all the players. I'm just reading the cards. You guys know more than I do about all the players and what's going on. So I'm always interested to hear. So these last two, so this is kind of like the the outcome or yeah, kind of the outcome of all this or the, end, you know, what wraps up kind of the story here. And we have the four of swords here and the ring. Now, the four of swords, that's, you know, someone restoring, getting restoration. He's been to battle, um, you know, all these times. He has one sword left. He has one battle left in him, right? So to get out there and um, get back in the game there. It also talks about recovering from illness. <laughs> um, kind of like I'll deal with it tomorrow <laughs> type feeling um, but he wants to withdraw from this conflict he wants to just kind of hide away from this conflict but he is locked in with this partnership he's locked in there's been agreements there's been contracts so he can't get away with this he can't retreat 
as you can see, but he wants to. So I feel he's dealing with all this and this is, so we're seeing the outlaying of his madness of what he, all these things that he's doing. We're like, why did he do that? Well, because he's trying to placate a bunch of people around the world that uh, he's trying to clean up his mess because he knows he's in trouble. And so we wonder why he's doing that. Well, he's trying to clean up his mess. He'd rather just retreat and run away, but he can't because he has um, contracts. He has, oops. <laughs> he has contracts um, with them. So very interesting. He's under a lot, a lot of stress. And remember that card that flew out at the beginning with the, <laughs> the nine of swords? Well, <laughs> there you go. I should have, I should have left, I should have kept it out. The Nine of Swords, where did it go? Yeah, so this was the card that came out at first. And that pretty much says it all. So this is his life. We might see him all golfing games, but he is worried, guys. So good to be back. Glad to, glad to hang out with you for a little bit. Thank you for subscribing and sharing and so forth. And um, really thank you for all who continue to support this channel, uh, donating and supporting this channel. Just such a blessing. So if you would like a private reading, please go to freebirdspirit.com. I, I am um, opening up my, my December calendar is, is, is open and there are openings. So uh, go ahead and check that out. So until then, I'm giving you a big hug and blessings to you, and I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.